welcome back to e school of civil engineering this is atullah with another new video as we have started our tecla portal frame designer tutorial series and this is its second lecture so if you're new to our channel then you can watch our previous video and also if you're new to our channel and you have first time come to our channel then press like button and also subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so first of all i will open our previous model that was a previous model uh, you know that in our Past le previous lecture I have shown you that uh, how to create that that uh, model after that okay after that we'll just um, to design that we'll just come here design and we'll just click here portal frame okay then uh, click here and wait for some time it will take some time okay just wait for some time and we'll see what happened sorry uh, I have sorry I have uh, just cancelled that I'm, I mean I have cancelled our processing uh, I'll before work I have to just uh, go here design wizard okay so after that we have to select a design limit here you have to give the limit okay so uh, if you think that uh, if deflection what will be the if deflection apex deflection what will be the apex deflection i'll give you our apex deflection over uh, 200 millimeter okay after the design group here you have to for external column you have to select the external column order us for after i mean according to design code for after you have to select the rafter order okay and for internal column you have to select internal column order okay then it's done after that press here uh, okay and after that go here design code and from here select your uh, record design code i will select btc standard and for win design code also btc standard then okay so uh, after that when it's done then we'll go for loading okay i forget to uh, assign loading so you have go ahead loading and I, I'll go ahead load case so here is our load case and if first time in our first video I have uh, applied it that I mean I have uh, changed everything and I have done everything here so not do not do anything after that I will go here loading and from here uh, wind loading so from here wind loading I'll go here okay sorry uh, for wind loading I'll just go here add and from here I'll give our this is the our building width it's 15 and i'll give our building length suppose uh, that is fifth, uh, 6 meter and i will consider 5 span building i mean portal frame it will be 30 meter after that i'll go next and from here i will select uh, the intermediate zone and from here first of all for uh, side left then go next it will be same you can also change that okay directional factor sd you can change that otherwise you can also change that I will not change anything here actually I am just showing you that how will work here actually so next from here I will select negative and it will be same then it's done click generate and then finish after that again click add and it will be same just will change here only right side okay that right side then click next 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 finish so after that click here okay so it's done okay uh, or everything have done so if I go here for load combination so if we come here add so from here you can uh, select your load combination actually from here if I cancel that there have uh, soil if you want to use that after that uh, press okay uh, I mean uh, you can add the load combination here first time I'm not going to do that just uh, simply come here uh, same as our previous select load combination that is on load combination okay this is self weight dead load and service load and also impost load okay then if you want to again uh, for any dead load this is self weight then you can 
from here according to your code you can select your uh, I mean you can select your load combination just come here and select that and like that and from here you can change your data from here okay just click here and change your data so suppose if, if you want to take your data for Winload, just like that you can change your data for extent for service so from here you can uh, do that I'll just cancel that then I will press ok so we have done everything now we'll go for design so I'll click a portal frame and see that this have passed our span and everything have passed our span faster after and that is passed so if we go here summary if we go here summary for our that combination uh, it's fail or that combo fail just click here and from here it's failing strength and serviceability it's, so if I click here uh, this fail in strength and serviceability so I'll click here so for serviceability I'll see that uh, that have changed I mean that have failed so uh, I'll just close that after that uh, for instance for instance it have actually passed okay so for serviceability it have failed so for that I will just uh, again go here double click here okay and I'll change that section I'll change that section for that I'll just come here W and M section and from here I'll go down I'll select W3672 36072 select and for down one also I'll select W Oh, in M, then select W36, W6, and 70 to actually here. Then click select after that. Okay, so again, I'll go for when I change that only. So I'll go for uh, again design and click here portal frame. So it's also fail. So if I click here, it's have also fail for here. If we see here for serviceability, it's have failed. Sorry. For serviceability itself failed so I will again uh, close that and I will also increase its size so sorry I'll just click here and I'll change its section I'll give W into M and from here I'll just uh, come down 360 72 I'll also give for it select and also for that I'll give W into M 736 72 then select then press ok after that uh, when it's done after that again we'll go for design portal frame now just see that it's a passed okay so in this in this way just uh, we can take our model that it is okay or not so I'll just uh, close that so uh, it's a passed it's passed so Uh, when it is passed okay when it is passed then I will just go here and click here update connection okay I'll just click here update connection so I'll just click here and just see here uh, if is it is here then you have to come here connection so just see here this is that is a uh, length I mean ls if then apex rs so if I right click here and view connection just see here that is our if so if I just close that after that come here for apex just view connection just see here this is for our apex okay the that line are represent the welding and this is the board connection for with plate inlets with inlet it show the with implant in plate it show the board connection and uh, our uh, also our, I mean uh, here also it's show the uh, it's show the uh, welding and board connection here actually so if we come here for base view connection just see here this is our base connection actually here our base connection so it's done okay so uh, in our next video I'll just show you that how we'll design that okay how we'll design that and uh, before that I'll just come here and design and check wall connection just I'll click here uh, check wall connection see here or 
they have no connection who are being passed so we have to change that and we have to work with that okay so thank you thank you very much if you think that that was helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, stay with us for the next one i mean uh, for the next work and also press the bell icon after subscribing then uh, you can get the notification every first so here i will see about every uh, task that how will design that so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video